If there's one the thing pandemic has made us realize, it's that it really is possible for most of us to perform our jobs within the comfort of our homes. This sentiment has been reflected in a new survey conducted by recruitment agency Randstad among Singaporean professionals 41% of whom have stated that they'd rather continue the WFH trend than go back to the office, even at the expense of receiving bonuses. The survey was conducted between February 7 to 14, 2022 with the aim of finding out how Singaporean workers were being rewarded by their employers after a year of economic recovery following the COVID-19 pandemic. Image. Human Resources Online.net. After taking into account the responses of 300 Singapore-based employees, some pretty interesting facts were revealed. 1. At least 80% of workers had received a salary increment in 2022, with 9% of this group seeing their wages increase by more than 20. 2. Half of the respondents said that they would be receiving bonuses in 2022, with 43% of this group expecting a bonus of anywhere between 1 to 3 months, excluding a 13th month bonus at the end of the year. 3. Among those expecting a bonus this year, a quarter believe that their bonuses will amount to less than a month's wages, while 12% think they'll receive a bonus of at least 7 months. But while it seems that a fair amount of Singaporean workers do expect some kind of bonus in the coming weeks and months, it was the initial statistic highlighted at the beginning of this article that speaks the loudest. Many of them would rather forego their bonuses if given the choice, rather than being forced to go back to the office to work. WFH is the way to go. While this may seem surprising at first, the reason for this sentiment can actually be explained rather simply, working remotely grants workers plenty of benefits that end up translating into saved dollars, extra time, as well as reduced mental and physical strain. Most who have experienced working from home will be able to attest to the amount saved on fuel, transportation fees, outdoor dining, and many other necessities. When working in the office, add to these the chance to avoid commuting to the workplace, as well as the mental stress you get when stuck in traffic or congested. Public transportation. As such, the trend of employees demanding for more work flexibility has become more apparent not only in Singapore, but also in many other countries around the world to the point that an overwhelming amount of hired professionals have indicated a willingness to leave their job simply because of the lack of said flexibility along with other reasons such as poor workplace culture and lack of innovation. For many workers around the world, being able to work remotely has become a necessity rather than just a job perk. Image. The Straits Times. For example, LinkedIn revealed that over two-thirds of its US-based users have put in searches for jobs that are remote only, while one prominent IT company in the US has revealed that 71% of its staff members would rather continue working from home than receive promotions. In this report, it was also revealed that 24% of staff admitted to being willing to quit if forced to return to the office on a regular basis. Judging by the demands of today's professionals, it does appear that employers must reevaluate the perks and benefits offered to hires in order to secure the talents necessary to helping their businesses grow. Rather than simply dangling the carrot of increments, bonuses, and better wages in front of staff members, the smarter thing to do would be to also consider other aspects such as remote working, better corporate culture, and growth opportunities all things that today's working professionals seem to prioritize more heavily when considering entering or remaining at a company. Read more life stories. Pregnant lady buys hubby a Lambo because his life is about to get much harder. Creative Filipino designer makes stunning dresses from recycled materials. Nine most random new emoji and how to use them. Cover image sourced from Bloomberg Quint and Forbes.